My name is Titi Lola and I am a childcare provider with Get a Sitter. Get a Sitter is a platform that connects parents and guardians with professionals and knowledgeable childcare providers like me. We also provide educational content for In children. In this video, we will be talking about number recognition and counts from 1 to 10. And this is um, developmentally appropriate for um, children between the ages of 3 to 5 um, preschoolers. And it could take between 25 to 45 minutes to complete this task. There are three lesson objectives are expected to be achieved. One, the child should be able to identify numbers 1 to 10 by name calling. So this means that the child should be able to identify the number 1, the number 2, up to 10. Another objective that is expected to be achieved in this lesson is that the child should be able to recognize quantity change in materials by counting between 1 to 10. So what this basically means is that when um, for instance, if there is just one object um, and then you add another one to it, the child recognizes that there is an increase in that and then the child knows that this is one and this is two and when you had another material or object, that makes it three. Another objective that is expected of this lesson is that the child should be able to duplicate um, between one to ten using materials. So. Um, for instance, the child is able to um, say that, okay, what I'm holding is just one object and this is one, or what I'm holding is just two and this is two. So on their own, they should be able to um, duplicate numbers one to 10 using materials. This lesson or um, a board or a paper, a pencil, markers, and any counting object. It could be counters, it could be um, beads, it could be anything that is, you know, developmentally appropriate for this age group and safe. So um, anything around the house could work for this lesson. And also um, there is a poem, one tool buckle my shoe um, that we can sing along with. There is a book um, that we can read out the dinosaurs count to 10 the instructions and steps for this lesson. So um, I would go ahead and start teaching. Um, I see the child over here. So, um, and this is just um, the same steps that you can use for your child or children. So Kevin, do you know what numbers are? Have you ever heard of numbers? Have you, have you ever come across numbers? And you know, Kevin might say, yes, I think there is a number one. I think there is a number two. And if Kevin says that, then I know Kevin probably does have a prior knowledge about it. Maybe not um, extensive, but you know, a little bit of knowledge about it. Go ahead and play the poem that is supposed to be used for this lesson. One, two, two. three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So um, we can play this poem as long or as much as we want to just for the child to be able to, you know, um, identify with the song. And if you notice in that video, I actually duplicated each number with my fingers. So for instance, it says one, two, buckle my shoe. So that way I am duplicating those numbers. The child understands that this is one and this is two and this is three. This is me duplicating um, the numbers. And then I will go ahead and ask Kevin. So Kevin, did you learn about any new numbers in that video? You know, I mean, not the ones you mentioned before. Did you see any new numbers? And, um, you know, Kevin can say, yes, um, there is a number three, there is a number five, and then those um, numbers will be documented on the paper or on the board. These things that I've done, um, the steps that I've done um, before now are gonna be the steps that will be introduced in the lesson. And I will just go in and tell Kevin, we are going to be learning about numbers today. Um, and then the next step is to go on and read the book, How the Dinosaurs Count to 10. For fun, two big balloons tied to the bed, three toy trucks painted blue, green, and red, four balls that bounce, 
five big letter blocks. And under the bed, six dirty socks. A track. You notice you would realize that while the book was reading, I was pointing out the objects that were mentioned in the book. So for instance, there was a mention of two balloons and I made sure to point to the two balloons. Um, there was um, a page that also talked about six dirty socks. I made sure to count the socks with my fingers as six. So um, the child should be able to see all this, be able to visualize so that way they understand that, okay, this is what six is. This is one, two, three, four, five, six dirty socks. They should be able to, you know, count, oh, these are two balloons, one, two, this makes it two balloons. You can also go over the book um, again and read it. And this time around, what we will do while reading is, okay, so it says two balloons, one, two. I will try as much as possible to duplicate these numbers with my fingers. Okay, so it says six socks. So this one, two, three, four, five, six, six socks. Do this for as long as Kevin understands. Tense. A major activity that would help Kevin understand this concept better is, um, you know, um, using counting materials and, you know, trying to show um, Kevin how the number can increase, trying to duplicate these numbers. And I will show that in the next this slide. activity is um, actually adult or teacher led. So it's you basically doing the activity and the child just, you know, visualizing it and following through. So a major support that you can give to the child while um, doing this lesson is, you know, helping the child understand, okay, so one, two, this is one, this is duplicating one, this is duplicating two, this is duplicating three, um, it's just basically supporting the child um, to be able to, you know, do what you want them to do. This activity um, that will help the child to be able to identify these numbers um, by, you know, duplicating them and understanding the increase in your quantity. I'm going to be using these markers as my um, counters. And um, okay, so what I am going to do is put one marker in the circle and say, okay, so this is one. And if I had another one here, what does that make it? This is one, two. And if I had another one, Let's count. It's going to be one, two, three. And while doing that, I can also duplicate these numbers with my fingers. So um, let's say I had another marker, Kevin. Now let's count. It's going to be one, two, three, four. See, we've got four markers. This is one, two, three, four. And it's going to go on and on until he gets and to two. another thing I can do is, you know, ask Kevin, so what do you think comes after four? Do you want to try and see what comes after four? And Kevin would come in and say, okay, so um, let's say I have this here. Now count and let me see. How many do you think we have in the circle? And, you know, Kevin can say one, two, three, four, five and i can explain to kevin so before we counted four and now we're counting five so that means that five comes after four so the next step is to review the lesson that we have learned so far um to know if kevin really understands it so i've written the number one to ten on the board and i am going to tell kevin so kevin tell me what number is this Kevin says three. Oh, so this is three. Can you show me three with your fingers? What is three? What is three? Count to three with your fingers for me. And if Kevin is able to say one, two, three. Oh, well, great job. You're able to, you know, um, duplicate the number on your fingers. That's for instance, job. let's say I say Kevin. So what number is this? And Kevin says um, six. Okay, can you show me six with your fingers? Can you count to six for me? With your fingers all right show me and kevin says one two three four and get stuck at four it's okay for me to step in and say okay um do you want me to help you do you want us to count together and i can say okay kevin let's count together so one two 
three, four, five, six. So not six, see? This is six. And um, after I've done that and I've made sure that we did that together, then I'm going to let him do it on his own without my help. You don't pick its numbers randomly um, or you can, you know, um, do it number after number, you know, um, just go to the next number from the next number. For a fun assessment, having like them 10 beads with a wool, you know, the wools that you do. I would just give that to Kevin and say, Kevin, you know, just make a bead. You don't have to use other beads. You can use as much as beads that you want. But while doing this, I have to make sure that I only give Kevin 10 beads because, you know, we are um, trying to stay between the numbers one to 10. And so Kevin would just make a bead with a wool and beads. So um, if he uses five beads, if it's an I come around and say, okay, Kevin, so, um, how did you do this? What did you do? Um, did you, how many beats did you use? If it says, oh, I used five, all right. Do you want to count to five with me? Do you want to show me how you know you got five beats in there? Um, like that. My assessment at home, I will just use um, something that I have at home um, to, you know, do this. For my activity at home, I am using um, this building blocks. So I can say, all right, Kevin, um, you can build those blocks. Um, with those blocks that I've given you and you know when I check you have to tell me how many blocks that you, you used in building that um, I just have eight blocks here but you know if you have 10 use 10 because 10 is um, you know the target number okay so this is me coming back to review what um kevin has done i will go ahead and ask kevin so did you build any blocks if it says yes all right so um can you tell me how many um blocks you used in building this and if it's able to count one two three then that means kevin you know um understands this lesson and has done a good job with it and you know i can also go ahead and say okay can you tell me how many blocks we have left here and if he's able to say one, two, three, four, five, we have five blocks left. All right, good, good job. And you know, I can also say, can you show me with your fingers how many blocks we have left? And you know, if he's able to say one, two, three, four, five, then that means that he understands this lesson. Thank you for watching. Parents and guardians, you may download the Get or Sitter app for more videos and to request for a child care provider. The app is available on Apple and Android devices. Visit www.getorsitternow.com for the desktop version. Bye!